Yo, what up, what up, what up? It's your man, Big Brandon Carter. Uh, I was, I mentioned this in my live Q&A. People were asking, uh, if you don't have enough time for a good workout, is it, is it better to get a bullshit workout in or to skip the day and get it in, just get it in? Well, I say do what you can. Uh, Teddy Roosevelt said, do what you can where you are with what you have. So I'm like, just get the fucking workout in. For one reason, it's, uh, those of you who read, um, it's up here somewhere, uh, The Power of Habit. Those of you who have read <laughs> The Power of Habit, it's like you want to stay in the groove, all right? You want to stay in the groove, so, like, you want to make sure you're, you don't want to get out of your rhythm of working out. So even if it's a bullshit workout, get it in just so you, you reinforce the habit, build the, build, uh, the neural pathways, and, and make sure that you're, you know, once you begin to quit, it becomes easier to quit. Quitting becomes a habit, right? So everything you do becomes a habit. You, so you have to be careful what you do. So don't give up. Don't stop, no matter what the excuse is. So anyway, I say all say yes. Get the fucking bullshit workout in. I'm going to show you what my bullshit workout is. This is my full body bullshit workout. So I'll, I have a kettlebell, bam, at, at the crib. If you don't have one, that's cool. Uh, and I have these gymnastic rings. Hooked up to, can you see? Let me see if you can see. Hooked up to my pull-up bar. All right, it's this real simple, simple setup. Gymnastic rings I just hooked up to my pull-up bar. Nothing fucking fancy. Any asshole can do it. So what I do is, I, I'm just gonna run through it, kind of. I do about four sets of this. This is all I do. I take, I do kettlebell swings to failure. Dips on the rings to failure pull-ups or chin-ups to failure, all right? And uh, and I do that four, I mean, I might, uh, depending on, t I, I, I at least do it four times. And that's the full body workout, real quick. It's a bullshit workout. It's not the best, it's not optimal, but you want to just stay in the habit. You'll get a better workout next time. Every workout's not going to be fucking amazing anyway, right? Even Ar Arnold said that in his book, you know, every workout's not amazing. You do the best you can what you have. So, but if I have time to do more, if I'm done, I'm like, all right, I got more time. I'll, I might do six, seven sets of that. But anyway, so it's like this. It's super set, so I do. All right, let's just say that's failure, bam, all right? Because I don't want this to take all day. Bam, let's just say that's failure, all right? And then right here, right into this. Right. Let's just say that that was failure. It was. I could do. I can do a ton of that. I'll be doing this shit all day. I'm just trying to make this fucking. <laughs> I'm trying to make this video short. So you hit failure on all, on all of them motherfuckers, right? Then you rest 60 to 90 seconds, and then repeat. And you do that for really as many times as you have fucking time for, right? And when, when I say failure, I don't mean. When I say failure, I don't mean do it until. You, Ah, you can't do no more. Like it's a fucking like you're, like it's, you're training in a Rocky movie. I mean, fail, do it. When I say failure, I mean train until you can't do it anymore with exquisite form. The moment your form begins to degrade, that's when your set is done. For example, let's say I'm doing bicep curls, curling my ass off, curling my ass off. Then I start doing this shit, right? Or I start doing this shit, lifting my elbows. Or fucking use my lower back. Hey, it's not fucking lower back day. It's bicep day, right? So I'll do this shit. When I start doing this, now I'm basically, my bicep has failed. My bicep actually did hit failure. And I'm using other muscles to get the fucking weight up. So what I, I say just stop that failure. Stop when stop when you can't do it with exquisite form. Because when you start doing shit with, when your form is not precise, that's when you risk you have a greater risk of getting a, a form transmitted disease, an FTD. <laughs> you want these FTDs, a form transmitted disease, like a pool muscle, herniated disc, uh, <laughs> sprains and shit, you know. Once the form starts to degrade, degrade that's it, that's it, put it down. I know Arnold did cheat curls, he recommended that. You're not on a fucking Schwarzenegger, are you? Um, but anyway, I'm just a fucking guy. What do I know? 
I don't even want to get into that right now. The point is, bam. If you only have quick, if you can only do a quick workout, do the quick workout. It's not optimal, but what it does is this what it does do, it's something, you know, it's not nothing, it's something. And but more importantly, like the book says, you keep the habit ingrained in your mind. Because the last thing you want to do is get out of your rhythm. It's the hardest thing is to start. Once you have that inertia, object in an object that's in motion tends to stay in motion. Newton or one of them need to set that shit, but you know what I'm talking about, right? Peace.